Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we're playing Dragon Age Inquisition. All right, we spent way too much time last time on that rift. So what we're going to do... Oh, what? There's a thing now. I'm just going to skip it for now. There's no point... There's no point spinning my wheels. We can always come back for it later. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, holy shit, my guy. Should be a good time. Ooh, oh, but I didn't back anything. Ooh, I'm gonna be over back here with Solus. Oh, that's the only bad part of like being away from the group is because it makes Solus put the protective shield spell over next to me instead of protecting other people. And it's an AoE. It can protect other people. <gasps> no! Oh my god, there's two! I'm sorry. This isn't how I wanted to start this episode. <laughs> There's always so many memes about the beers, but... They are the scourge of the hinterlands. But we're almost done with the hinterlands. We're gonna go to that last quest down there. It's not a rip. And then we'll head up to Laser Point Cave. Get that loot. And then we'll go to Dennett. Let's try to be good stewards of our time. Okay. On. Can I get up there? So let's did you ever consider reforming the circle from within? You have both knowledge and wisdom. You could have made a difference. I admire your optimism. But ask yourself honestly how the Templars would have reacted. You fear they would have made you tranquil. There is no doubt in my mind. My studies threaten established ideas. I would never have been tolerated. I suppose you are right. Repairing the damage done will take great effort. What they were more like you, Seeker. I do appreciate that, that she's willing to re-examine her established ideas in light of his expertise. That is like such a hallmark of maturity, guys. Like, I can't even. There are so many people today who will... N guys, 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 don't shoot that Fennec. Leave them alone. That's not our battle. Come on, come on, come on. Who won't re-examine established ideas because it goes against their construction of reality. And that's a very dangerous uh, mistake Up to ahead. subscribe to. That's the camp of our mysterious friends, unless I'm mistaken. What mysterious friends? Try this one. Okay. Well, clearly we're coming in here guns blazing. Look at that big and Oh, he just got armored. Oh, there's a bear up there. I see him. <laughs> Right. Good job, everybody. All right. So, I guess we just go across the way here into this fortress. Yikes, that's what that looks like. What is that? Ah, it's just been a weed. We'll be all right. 
can't loot that. How pretty it is. They did such a good job with this game. Now to have we done that one yet? I don't think we have. To be fair, I just got finished playing uh, Sinuous Sacrifice. Or Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. That, that game is is just beautiful. I, there aren't there aren't words to properly describe not only how like well done the graphics are, but just the entire experience that is her grief. God, it was such a good game. Okay. Here. That's not the Australian. That's the Ocularis. All right, let's do some shard spotting. I really don't like the subtle grating of skull on wood that I hear when I'm roaming through this viewpoint. Oh. So there's like a secret shed or something that you can get to that kind of explains what this is. I'm just trying to do the perimeters to see where and where we can't go. Oh, buddy. Okay, good. That's where I wanted to be. Oh. And then five. All right. We've got those points mapped out. So there should be. It, oh, it looks like it's going to be up there. Okay, won't worry about it right now. Oh, it wasn't close enough. Grand Force Villa. That the lush and beautiful Grand Forest Villa so far from Redcliffe Castle seems odd only until one learns the history behind its construction. More than an age before the Elysian occupation of Ferelden, Arl Jason Garin ordered its construction to serve as comfortable living quarters for his close friend, famed singer and swordsman, Sir Coram the Bard. Arlesa Marguerite, Jason's wife, evidently understood and supported her husband's relationship with Coram only stipulating that the bard not live at the castle to avoid any public scandal. What a pro. Arl Jason's Ride was a popular tavern song, ooh, <laughs> for many years, jokingly honoring the Arl's attempts to return from the villa before the sun rose. Sir Corb lived happily there until his death in bed at the age of 90, several years after the darl of Arl Jason himself. The aged Arlesa Marguerite ordered Coram's body burned with full honors and a hunting cloak that belonged to the Arl. Wow, that's some relationship goals. After Sir Coram's death, the villa was used by the Arl's family for guests and as a summer home for younger family members. It was abandoned during the chaos of the Fifth Blight. Excerpt from Living Redcliffe by Sister Dorcas Guerin. How cool. Can I have a summer home? Should I acquire any... Uh, Illicit lovers. That would make for one hell of a story. It's not even illicit. It's illicit in the public eye. But his wife was totally chill. And honestly, that's the only opinion that matters. Okay. I gotta get in there. How do I do that? Ah, cannot. Gotta go that way. Oh, that marker is for the shard. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. I see you. So why am I hold up here? I guess it's just serving as a stronghold. Is this Templar kiddos? I'm gonna assume just because they're armored. I'm trying to get this one guy down before we mess with the other. Ooh. No. Oh, I can do up here. This is fine. 
so we don't have to deal with two beating up on Cassandra at once, but we're doing what we can. Shit, I don't think I got it. Oh, did I just like blow through that box? <laughs> I don't remember being able to do that. Yeah, twinsies. I love them, Varric, and I use the same abilities at similar times. All right. Good job, everyone. Charging bull ring. That sounds good for Cass. All right. Let's explore. Oh, cool. Oh, and a note. An unsigned letter. I don't care if you've got an archdemon itself lighting your asses on fire. The mercenaries provide enough protection for you to continue the operation. If necessary, more will be dispatched to your location. Keep the dots working and keep the product moving. Delays will not be tolerated. Ah, this must be the Templar's stronghold and I'm gonna make the assumption that they're pushing Red Lyrium. Oh, hello. Poor Cass is taking a beating. Ugh. I guess we need to stun our inner- He's just like having a tantrum over there. we go. I guess I assume there was another one in here, but it's just the one. Did I miss loot outside? I did. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's clear the lower level first before, I mean, I guess this is going to take us up anyways. Let's just go this way. I'm gonna clear the actual structure itself first so we can keep track of where we have been and where we haven't. I'm not gonna struggle over there for that elf root. Or that onyx. Oh, hello. Did he say kill them all? Maybe? Maybe that's not the best idea while we're on like Harris. I really like that they gave them unique mechanics. Like he has this kind of like rage tantrum where he just blindly strikes in his vicinity. It's really cool. Instead of the just meleeing. Is he twerking? Does a better job than I do, fuck. Alright, so that's basically all that would have Okay. Yeah, let's go this way. I'll be excited when we get more abilities. So I don't have to just sit here and hold the trigger down. <laughs> just breaking all these nice things here. I haven't bothered, bothered with a potion because there's not really a need to right now. Hey, no, Varric, I was trying to move. I was trying to strafe behind that pillar until Varric decided to stand in the way. What is killing us? Is there just a big dude over there that I can't see? Oh, he's full health. Maybe this was a third individual. Guys, take potions if you need them.
I'm glad Solus is using his protective sphere around Cassandra now. God, this guy is a big boy. Watch out, watch out. I feel like this guy's beefier than the rest. Rest her, baby. I'll do it myself. That's also fine. Okay, what I'm gonna do... No, hold on. I need you to take that. Oh god, I clicked an ability. Hold on. Okay, now... Oh, god damn it. I'll get him, I'll get him. Ugh. I'm trying, but I'm trying to get solar. Oh, shit. Is this guy really this tough? I need to back up. Should I try to get souls again? Shit. I'm gonna try to kite him a little. Okay, if he's gonna go for Varric. Oh shit! Uh. Can I just run this way and reset this instance, please? <laughs> no, I'm not coming back there. Oh! No, please. I don't want any. Bye. Is he gonna come down the ladder? All right, where are my friends? Okay. How do you write as you do, Varric? I can never find the proper words. You write? Really? I've needed to describe events in reports. They always come off as... Dry, boring, lifeless, stale. You are an ass. Just helping you find those words. I mean, he's not wrong, right? <sighs> Can we... God damn it. I really need to take that off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go heal up at a camp. So I don't waste any more of those potions. And then we'll have to run back, okay? I'll be right back. Alright. Where is this big boy? <gasps> His health is still where we left it. Yeah, let's fuck this guy up. That's kind of unfair, but it makes sense in a way, too. He's so big. Is this boy like some mini boss or something? He feels like it. Come on. Woo! All right. Thanks, fuck. <laughs> like. I'm a fan of games like League of Legends where there's more skills and like, I mean, there's not even that many. There's four, right? But it's more strategic. This is a very strategic. It's just kind of hack and slash. And so it doesn't uh, do it for me as much. Valimar Key, a letter from the Carta. We hired your mercenary organization to facilitate this business venture, not add complications. In order for the Carta to extract the product without attracting undue attention. The area must be free from observation. 
the fighting between the apostate mages and the renegade Templars is insufficient, your efforts were to dissuade refugees from exploring the area and interfering with our operation. We are meeting at our primary base of operations in Valimar to determine the next course of action. At your earliest convenience, send representatives to the location marked to explain the situation and obtain new instructions. Instructions. An unsigned letter found in a remote mountain. There's something. Oh, I'm really glad I didn't bypass that. An unsigned letter. The Inquisition's growing presence in the area presents a threat to the operation. And represents one. Focus efforts on discouraging any further exploration in the area, particularly any efforts to give comfort to the refugees at the crossroads. We cannot have people putting down roots here. So by the use of the Carta, which are dwarves, if you remember, I feel like they're the ones who are able to mine the Red Lyrian, because if you remember... Oh, there's another one. Lyrium does not affect dwarves as it does humans. Um, I heard growling? Please tell me somebody else right now. Solus is fine. Oh, but baby, you're very close. See how this guy goes down so much easier? That other guy was... He was a mini-boss for sure. Oh, that's right, our shard is over here. Let's get that. I hear you, shard, calling to me. Um, perfect. Ooh, this is hat up. Bro, you're gonna make me jump that? All right, all right, we got this, this is easy. I hate jump puzzles, by the way. I always overextend or underextend or otherwise gauge the distance incorrectly. I'm particularly bad at them, especially in like, wow. On the Timeless Isles, when Pandaria was the current expansion, they had all those jump puzzles. And I was just garbage at all of them. All right, let's finish clearing out this area. There's something down there, but I don't know what it is. It would help if there wasn't an enormous... What? What? Oh, it's a bear! No! Oh, God, no! Run, everyone, run. Run, 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 run. Why? Is that just ore? Yes. <sighs> Alright. Some more ore. And I think that should be everything here. Let me double check on the map. Oh, we've got to go farther. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. I didn't realize that the map continued that back this way. Hello, Ram. All right. More onyx. Alfru. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Oof. Oh, complete ritual. That's... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was afraid something like that was gonna happen. Oh, good job, Solus. Maybe this is why we were struggling at those rifts. Because Solus was using 
cold magic against the I think they're the despair demons who are also cold natured all right what else so we've basically just got some more shards right so that one looks like it should be inside okay so we actually have more to do here I was wrong um okay so should we go back to haven i know we have to go back to haven before redcliffe clearly otherwise we kind of can't go to redcliffe but but is it going to hinder us i guess if we go back later rather than sooner I know, I know, I know I'm, like, missing a lot of mission opportunities and stuff like that. I'm not too terribly concerned with it right now. But we had to go down for those. All right. Excuse me, what? Uh... Let me see where I am in respect to these things. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it's, like... On some sort of precipice over there, maybe? Maybe. We'll find out. I wish there was a sprint. I know there's a sprint for the mount, but I don't think there's a sprint for the Inquisitor, is there? It's been so long. God, I, I'm able to figure out so much more of the plot, like the little smoking guns they leave because I'm familiar with the universe now. Oh, I don't like that anymore. Ooh, ooh, oh baby girl. <laughs> Let's not. We can slide down this one. We can't swim, can we? But there's one like right here. Ugh. I see you up there and I hear you. Let me up. Yes. <sighs> Ooh. We've only found six of 22 shards. How is that possible? I feel like we found so many more than that. Where's the next one? Let's go. Oh, that one's near the rift. I don't. I, I don't need that in my life yet. Let's do that one in particular. Okay. Oh no! It's up on that. Oh. Shit. We gotta go this way, don't we? Let's see if we can't grab this the first time through. This is such a cool idea. Although I did not see any bedrooms or kitchens or anything like that. That's the only thing that bothers me when people like map out areas and games. Like, bro, I want to see the bathroom. I want to see the closets, you know, like give me the, the stuff that people would normally have in a house. I like things to be very realistic. Maybe that's just too much trouble and nobody else cares. And so it's just not worthwhile. All right, the next one. Oh, don't kill him! Oh my god! Oh, how are we gonna get over there? I feel like going down right there is gonna be a really bad, 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 bad plan. We're gonna be in for an injury, yeah. Shit, we may have to go back. Please tell me I can go back up. Please tell me I haven't. What? A loot? For what? Dalish hunter bow. Why? All right. I'm not going to question, but thank you. Okay. 
Can we slide down here with little to no repercussion? Because I'm lazy? Also, where are the boys? Did you believe the Conclave could achieve peace, Cassandra? I had hope, as did we all. The Templars went to war to force mages back into their circles, which the mages would never agree to. What solution could Divine Justinia have offered when all sides rejected compromise? The war was going nowhere for either side. That they went at all showed they realized this. Or they believed the other side would relent. We shall never know now. Seeing people of differing viewpoints can have civil conversations. Ah. It's what Anders and Fenders were never capable of. Civil discourse. Fenders didn't give a shit about what anyone else had to say, and Anders let his passion get in the way of trying to govern the way that he approached the subject matter in a way that Fenders might be more sympathetic to. Now, don't get me wrong, I think that Anders tried. I think the allegory to slavery was perfect, but you, you guys know my opinion on Fenris. I think that he hated too much, and his personal scars were too grave to let him sympathize or empathize with literally anything other than himself. Which is unfortunate, and it happens. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna turn this way before I vault. I don't wanna go off the edge. Alright. So much for trying to ambush us. Oh, why was there looter? Oh, it's because the first one died while I was standing over there, I think. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh, wait. So we just have this one left? All right, all right, we'll do it. We'll do it and that'll be the last thing on our agenda for today. I really do no. like the banter add-on. Dude, I'm trying to go that way. Okay. What? Is there another one? No, no, no. Everyone just run this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry before he engages. <sighs> Please don't poop my boyfriend. I don't appreciate it. Or I guess he's not my boyfriend yet, is he? Don't poop the guy I have a crush on. Clavellan has a crush on. <laughs> Oh no. Who's that dude? Are you a bad dude? You, uh, no. He's one of those dudes. Why are there all these murdery, like, assassin dudes out here? Are they aligned with the Templars? They don't. No! Did I shoot a Fennec? Okay, I need to stop. No, no, no. <gasps> so, so could you. How could you? Oh shit, another one. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Everyone run. Everyone run before he sees you. Go, go, go. This is not a drill. Ugh. I like her to stop her elf room <laughs> while we're running. Come on. Ugh. Parkour, parkour. Please. Lavellan, please. Why can everyone else do it? Lavellan, please. Lavellan, please. Get up there. Get up. Well, I was on it. How is this happening? Inquisition, please. Jesus. All right. It's up there, I'm gonna be not happy. Let's just scale while there's an opportunity to do so. What I've learned is if you try to stay on the grassy parts, it typically turns out better. All right. Oh, I see you. Oh good, I'm glad we went up. 
I hear you whisper whispering. Perfect. All right. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Make good decisions, be smart, be safe, be good to each other and be good to yourself, all right? Take all the breaks you need, exhibit some self-care. Okay. Oh no, shit. Okay, I'm gonna close this out really quick before we get into comment. <laughs> I hope that every single one of you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.